The number of women dying from a pregnancy or childbirth has been on the incline in recent years, and maternal mortality is having a higher impact on black women. Sean Logging spoke with one of the groups in Wichita looking to reverse these trends. There's a lot to sort through. I think these ones are all 12 to 18. As volunteers from a local church organized donated baby clothing for the Kansas Birth Justice Society oh, to give out. It's one of the ways this group focused on mothers of color works to support mom and child before and after birth. Help people have the resources and uh, knowledge and background that they need to be able to have a better birth experience. One issue Sapphire Garcia Lease and Melody McCray Miller work to address is maternal mortality. These numbers actually are horrific um, across the nation. So it's not just an issue for the state of Kansas. However, the state of Kansas happens to be have the highest ratio of black maternal deaths. New data from the CDC shows a sharp increase in maternal mortality in 2021 with 1,200 deaths up from 860 the year before. The CDC also points out that maternal mortality rates for black women is 2.6 times that seen for white women. Most of these deaths are preventable. Sapphire says COVID-19 is one factor. People being secluded with people not having the support that they normally have. Sapphire also says race and racism is a part of this, impacting the care mothers of color receive. The largest barrier is being heard, being listened to and being respected. And so one of the things that we really prepare people for in our workshops and in the work that we do is to be able to advocate strongly. Kansas Birth Justice Society is also working on policy changes they say are needed to address some of the root causes contributing to these maternal mortality rates. Not only focus on mothers of color, but mothers that are in rural areas have the, the same actually likelihood and maternal deaths ratios. They sought a bill in Kansas this year to provide more analysis of maternal mortality rates in communities of color and promote continuity of care. They say Medicaid expansion is also needed. Sapphire says to address this takes a village approach to provide the care and support needed. Every baby should be allowed and able to reach that first birthday alive and healthy and so should the mother. In Wichita, Sean Logging, 12 News has launched a campaign called Hear Her to encourage health care providers to hear women's concerns during and after pregnancy and explain warning signs that require immediate care and additional support managing chronic health conditions.